It's day one for new basic trainees on Fort Sill. The first few days will be spent in this building, getting their army file started and transforming them from civilians to soldiers. First, they fill out all required paperwork. This is where we develop their, um, their life insurance, their pay, their, we set up their bank accounts here, and their family members are enrolled into the United States Army system. Then their transformation begins with a haircut. All men must get their heads buzzed or shaved. They do this for cleanliness and also to look unified. It looks good. It looks good, bud. And women's hair must be cut short or pinned back. Next, they get fitted for their Army combat uniform and their dress uniform. Come pick up the bags, they get the shoes, they get the shorts. Every equipment is accounted, accounted for. Hi, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Everything is measured out to fit perfectly. Especially their boots, which could cause injury during basic training if not fitted properly. They also receive duffel bags to hold all their gear. Once they have their combat uniform on, they get their official picture taken for their ID. We'll go ahead and take their picture right here. That's your history shot. Most important if, picture you'll ever take. If they only, exactly, if they only knew the value of the picture, they don't think about it, oh, it's going to cost me $25. Remember, that picture's the, that's, that's the one shot you have. These soldiers are now ready to begin the nine-week basic training period. For the Met Report, Miranda McCotchkins.